Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This channel, Avid Science, is all about trying to learn various concepts of Avid Science through practicing a lot of questions. In this video, we are going to solve this question on lead code regarding students report by geography. The difficulty level of this question is hard and I am going to share the SQL schema as well as the Panda schema in the description box below. Okay, the question reads, we are given a table called student with two different columns, name and continent. This table may contain duplicate rows. Each row of this table indicates the name of a student and the continent they came from. A school has students from Asia, Europe and America. We are asked to write a solution to pivot the continent column in the student table so that each name is sorted alphabetically and displayed underneath its corresponding continent. The output headers should be America, Asia and Europe respectively. The test cases are generated so that the student number from America is not less than either Asia or Europe. Let's go through this example. Here, we have four different students, two from America, one from Europe and one from Asia. So, we need to have three different columns, firstly America, then Asia and then Europe. For each of those columns, the name should be sorted in ascending order. So, there should be Jack, then Jane, then for Asia, it should be Z and Null and for Europe, Pascal and Null and that is what we have in our output. So, depending upon what flavor of SQL you are using, you can do this in many different ways. Since I am using MySQL, so there is no direct pivot function in this case. So, we need to use some window functions and some smart tricks to actually achieve that pivot thing. So, the first thing that we should do is, for each of the continent, we can order by the name in ascending order and try to assign ranks so that we can go from there. So what we can do is we can use the window function. So from this table called student, let us return all the columns that we currently have and then rank using row number. So row number, since we are using a window function and we need to rank for every continent. So over partition by the continent column and then order by the name column in ascending order and let's alias this as rank. Let me go ahead and run this. Okay, so what we had here is we have the name, continent and the rank. Okay, now once we have this, what we need to do is let's save this in a common table expression CTE with CTE as. Now from here, you can either take two routes. The question here mentions that the test cases are generated so that the student number from America is not less than either Asia or Europe. So you can start with America and then try to join subsequently the Asia and Europe data. But if you scroll down in this question, there is a follow up to this that if it is unknown which continent has the most students, how can you write a solution to generate the student report? So let us develop this solution in a generalized fashion that we do not know which continent has the most number of students in it. So what do we need to do is right now here we have from for America there are two students and for Asia and Europe there are one each. The question says in this particular case that America has the highest and you see here right. So from this just by looking at it the logic that you can apply is that you can make three different tables continent equal to America, apply filters, continent equal to America, then Asia, then Europe, and then you'd perform, okay, the first one, left join on the rank, so write 1 equal to 1, so you have for America, Jack, Jane, and then for Asia, you have Z, and since there is no 2 in this case, so it will find no match, and then you can have this null in the Asia, and then similarly for Europe. But what if you do not know which one has the most number of people? So what you need to do is you need to firstly find, okay, what is the maximum number of rank that you want to have? So to do that, we can use the recursive common table expression that you start with one and whatever is the maximum value in the rank column that we created, go until that. So what we are going to do is we are going to create a recursive common table expression. Now, the issue with MySQL is that if you are going to create a recursive common table expression here, it is not going to work. So what you need to write is you need to write this recursive in the very beginning. So even though this is not a recursive common table expression, what is a recursive common table expression? A common table expression that references itself. Here you do not reference yourself. 
So even though you say this is a recursive, what you actually mean is whenever you see a self-referencing common table expression, that is the one that is actually recursive. So CTE2 as, then what you need to do is, you need to have an anchor point for a recursive. So you start with something, so select 1 because the rank can at minimum be 1. So return 1 as rank and then you perform union and then you take the rank that you have right now plus 1 from the common table expression 2 right so you are referencing yourself and then what you are going to do is until when so there should be a terminating condition for this recursive common table expression so you write where your rank is less than the maximum value so return me the maximum rank from the first common table expression how will this work so here in this so this let me just drag it above this is the common table expression cte now what you are doing is start with one now you go to this line and you have rank right now is one so you do one plus one from this common table expression where rank is less than what is the maximum value in this rank column of the cte you have two so one is less than two so that is going to work then you increase by one right so now your rank is going to be two so you have two plus one three but is two less than two no so it will terminate at that so what will you have in the output so if i go ahead and do return me select star from cte2 it should return me one and two so if i go ahead and look at this so this is what you have you have one and two okay so now you have basically ranks from minimum one to the maximum value that you have in the rank column that you created in the original common table expression now simply what you can do is join on these ranks with the common table expression that you initially created rank column right so here if you just do left join of this cte2 on the rank column three different times firstly when it is continent equal to america then continent equal to asia and then continent equal to europe and you can have three different columns as is required in my output let me do this for america and it will be more clear now so now you have this what i'm going to do is so let me just you know remove this part so from this common table expression to where you have basically the ranks let us perform a left join of the so what you are going to do is from the initial common table expression that you created where your continent is equal to america let us return us the rank part and you also return me the name part right and let me just bring this down so that it's easier for us to visualize let us alias this as a and let's perform the join on so cte2 dot rank is equal to a dot rank and return me a dot name so the name column that you are going to have in this is going to be jack and jane for america continent and that is what you have to alias as a column named america so as america let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in this output so now if I look at this, what I have here is America, Jack and Jane. So same thing we can do for Asia and Europe as well. So let me just copy this and paste it a couple of more times. So basically now what you are going to do is if your continent is equal to Asia, alias this as B, perform this join on B dot rank. And similarly, if your continent is equal to Europe, right? and alias this as c and then you perform this c dot rank and what you need to write is b dot name as asia and c dot name as europe okay now let me go ahead and run this still not complete okay even though this says accepted but if you look at your output is what you require and you should order this by ct2 dot rank right so order by CTE2 dot rank. Now let me go ahead and run this again. Okay, so now the solution is complete. Your output is exactly same as expected output. You do not have to know beforehand which continent has the most number of students. Let me go ahead and submit this to so fast all the test cases or not.
so this is accepted and this is how to do it so yeah tricky question lengthy question and you might have to you know utilize some of the concepts from recursive common table expressions but the only way we went through the recursive common table expression part is so that we make this solution generalized so that you don't have to depend on the prior knowledge which continent has the maximum number of students so what we basically did was for every continent we arranged by name in ascending order and gave, gave a rank then we used a recursive common table expression to go from one to the maximum rank that we have in the common table expression we created earlier based on that rank common table expression 2 we perform three left joins one with america asia and europe respectively to get the names of the students in each of the continents arranged in ascending order so this is how we do it let me know if there is a better more efficient solution solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next video